What's up everybody? Welcome back to Superpower Reviews. My name is Liam Smith. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Diamond Select Toys GameStop exclusive Gwenpool Unmasked Statue. Okay, so first thing, we'll take a look at the box. As always, it's the standard Diamond Select Toys window box with windows on all three sides. Stating, of course, that this is a GameStop exclusive unmasked Gwenpool. Flipping around to the side of the box, same thing on both sides. Of course, windows on all sides, like I mentioned. That way you can see it really well when you look at it in a store. And if we flip around to the back of the box, have a full image of the statue itself, as well as the usual backstory on the character. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the Gwenpool statue out of the box and take a closer look. Okay, now first thing I want to say about this statue is it is a very unique statue. It's a very unique character. Gwenpool herself, if you look at the backstory on the back of the box, or if you know of her in the comics, you'll understand exactly where this comes from. There's also the masked version, which I will show right here. Same exact statue, it just has the different head sculpt. Speaking of the head sculpt, I really love what they did here. Diamond Select Toys did a great job on the paint, the face sculpt, everything on the face itself. I'm really loving what they did here. I'll turn it this way a little bit so you can get a closer look. Really fine details on the face and the paint apps on the face. I love that they're starting to go with more of a matte finish. Some of their older statues had issues with a really glossy face and an artificial skin tone. They're getting really good with the skin tones now and even though this is not a brand new statue, it's new enough to fall under whatever their new paint techniques are. Speaking of the eyes, I really love what they did here. She's got the one eye winking because of course she's taking a selfie on her cell phone. Did a great job with the color on the eyes. I have a really nice blue, very fine pupil details in there, nice paint apps throughout the eye, no spillover that I can see. And again, I mentioned the skin tones. They got a really nice skin tone with a matte finish on the skin and the lips are a pink tone which of course she wears pink lipstick to go with her pink outfit all the time and they even put a little bit of a pink shading in the cheeks kind of a blush there to give it a little bit extra tone in addition to what looks like pink eyeshadow above the eyes so they did put a lot of detail in this to give her her signature look okay now moving on down to the suit i went ahead and turned the statue this way a little bit this is technically the side of the statue or kind of a diagonal view because she is at a profile pose she basically takes some aspects of deadpool puts them into her own version of her own suit kind of a one piece unitard situation going on here with long sleeves and i love the details they put into this the sculpt work is done really well i always talk about the line work they did great line work around the grooves of the transition between the pink and the white there is a groove there as well as the paint there's only a tiny little bit of spillover here and there that's very unnoticeable from a distance moving a little further down to the waist of course her belt buckle is the pink g for gwenpool the pouches follow a similar theme to deadpool and moving a little further down the body the skin tones again are done really well on the legs as well and if I turn this around to the side, one thing you'll notice is the sculpting is done really well on this too. They gave her a very muscular look on her legs and they made it very natural looking. They got a really great sculpt and a really great pose. I always talk about dynamic poses with the statues and the figures. This one has exactly that. And moving a little further down, she has her white and pink shin guards as well as the white and pink sneakers. Now if we flip around to the other side of the statue, it looks like the back of her, but it is the side of the base, so this is the side of the statue itself. That's where you can see her katana a little bit better, of course. Deadpool uses two katanas. She does not because she uses one cell phone and one katana. And in this position, you can see the winking eye a little bit better. I didn't mention that before on the head sculpt. I'll turn it straight on so you can see that. They painted the eye closed and winking at the cell phone. The only thing I did notice is it looks like it was sculpted as an open eye and just painted as if it was winking. It does pass that way, but it could have been done with the entire eye kind of squinting instead. One thing about the katana, when you're taking this out of the box, be very careful because this is very fragile. Okay, and I'm leaning this forward a little bit so you can see the base a little better. It's basically a translucent plastic, but I like that they did the pink G for Gwenpool just like her belt buckle. 
Overall, I gotta say I'm really impressed with this Gwenpool statue. Like I said, it's a very unique character to begin with, and I like that Diamond Select Toys went with a very playful look with her. Of course, that's just what her character is, and they really pulled that off really well with, like I always say, the dynamic pose, the fun pose, everything about it is just a fun character. So as always, let's go ahead and do the scanning around, give you some close-ups, and give you a 360 degree view of the Diamond Select Toys unmasked Gwenpool statue. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for this review of the Diamond Select Toys Unmasked Gwenpool statue. If you're interested in purchasing this statue, go ahead and click the link in the description below. That'll help me out a lot. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. That way you won't miss any upcoming new content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.